Hi guys, welcome to the next episode. Today we're going to be talking about donovanosis and this can really rock your genitals. So this is uh, one of the scary sexually transmitted infections. Uh, the infection is caused by a bacterium called Klebsiella granulomatous. Um, it infects the skin around the genitals, the groin, the anal area, even around uh, the mouth. Uh, and what first happens is you get um, uh, painless papules. These break down into uh, ulcers and the ulcers gradually expand and get bigger, um, becoming uh, raised beef uh, ready and bleed very, very easily. They can get uh, infected with other bacteria that can cause them to be uh, uh, painful and they are really, really nasty. And because they bleed so easily, they're often uh, mistaken uh, for some form of uh, genital uh, cancer. Uh, and also if people do have sex with these uh, ulcers and they bleed, uh, that's obviously a, a risk factor for a transmission of bloodborne viruses. And so it's spread by sexual contact. And as I said previously, the infection can lay um, in the body for about 50 days before you start getting uh, uh, these uh, symptoms. Uh, and so where is it found? Well, uh, it can be found in Northern Australia, uh, Papua New Guinea areas, uh, Central America, uh, Southern Africa, and uh, India as well, and usually Southern India. Um, but obviously with international travel, the way it is, it could in theory pop up uh, in various other uh, countries. How do you prevent the disease? Uh, well, uh, like most diseases, uh, if there's a visible sign of genital disease, for example, a genital ulcer or sore, don't have sex, okay? Uh, using condoms uh, for vaginal and anal uh, sex significantly reduces uh, uh, the risk of all sexually transmitted infections uh, and uh, it's, uh, as well as uh, donovanosis. In terms of diagnosis, it's diagnosed by taking a sample of the actual uh, ulcer itself and that could be seen under uh, a microscope uh, through the correct uh, stain techniques um, but usually the vast majority of the world will do uh, a swab test uh, and send it off for something called multiplex PCR. <coughs> multiplex is a panel of diseases, uh, donovanosis is one, uh, chancroid is another, syphilis, uh, herpes type 1 and herpes type 2. This is what a multiplex PCR test uh, should uh, look for and it's usually available uh, in most good uh, uh, hospitals which have a, a suitably qualified and attached lab to them. Uh, however, donovanosis is very easily uh, treated if it's caught very early. The antibiotic of choice is azithromycin one gram per week for at least three weeks or until gentle ulcers uh, are starting uh, or have healed, uh, whichever is the longer. Uh, obviously, you also need to uh, say or inform your contacts um, because they need to be treated. Otherwise, it's, if it's in your sexual network, it will just rebound again. And you can also get uh, uh, lesions coming back again, even after treatment, after so many weeks or months, because uh, it sometimes can lay dormant in some parts of the, uh, the body. So a follow-up is vitally important. If you've got a sore on your penis, get it checked out. Speak to uh, your sexual health doctor if you have one, uh, or a doctor qualified in genital urinary medicine um, and if these uh, professions don't exist in your country then a urologist, uh, a gynecologist uh, or a family doctor who's got experience in genital medicine. I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode and stay tuned for the next. Take care. Bye.